This video will demonstrate how to view and interpret your originality report. How to retrieve an originality report. Return to the Turnitin assignment link for the particular assignment. Follow the link to return to the submission summary. The report will be available either within a few minutes after the first submission or 24 hours if you have already submitted previously. From under the similarity header, click on the percentage to retrieve the report. An originality report displays submission information, the similarity index, and the original submission with matching text highlighted. Understanding the matches within the report. Turnitin does not identify plagiarism. Originality reports only identify matching text. And any matching text found is expressed as a percentage. Using color, the report indicates places where matches were found. The colors link with the sources listed in the match overview. Always scroll through the report to view all the text matches. In this example, the matching text is cited, so this is not a plagiarism risk. However, the paraphrasing is close to the original text, and use of a direct quote should be considered. So what are the main types of matches found? The cover sheet, quotations used, parts of your bibliography or reference list, common phrases or genuine coincidences of language usage. Matches that suggest a genuine plagiarism risk are matches to another source not referenced in your paper. How to reference genuine text matches. When you find a text match, identify the source of the original text and write a full citation for that source in your reference list or bibliography. If appropriate, put the matching text into double quotation marks and quote it correctly. Or, paraphrase the original author's words. Remember, leave yourself enough time to receive your report make the necessary changes, and resubmit your work before the assignment deadline. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please contact the library. For technical assistance, please contact the IT Service Desk.